I'm going to be completely honest. This company right here is taking too much of my fucking money. All right? right. And this company right here, although they are an incredible partner and they are an incredible sports book and the app is amazing, I have started out very cold here. Now, last night I won two and two, and obviously there's a couple question marks revolving around whether Heineke knows that he can still run or not. Has this guy gone on ayahuasca and somehow somebody told him in his brain that he cannot run anymore? Looked like as soon as he was about to break free, literally the field would tackle him. So that obviously affected us last night. And Logan talked is somehow being invisible to Taylor Heineke yeah. also affected us. There was a penalty. I mean, so I went two and two last night. So it wasn't a complete, you know, loss. But the parlay that was refunded to everybody that took it did not hit as I thought it was going to. I thought everybody was going to make 116 bucks. I thought this past weekend, especially with some of the games that we had picked, I thought everybody was going to make hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars from FanDuel off the free bet they were giving to everybody to start off this NFL season. And instead, all I did was lose, 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 lose. I woke up on Monday. They had $0.0 in my fucking account. I mean, it has been a long day. That means I got to do one thing and one thing alone, AJ. And I don't know if you want to ride this horse with me or not. Do you want to go? Do you want to do this? Yeah, I'm in. All right. I'm, me and AJ are going to pick every single game. The only go. way to reverse this thing that is happening right now is we have to pick every single game. Hell yeah. And that's what I'm going to do. And, and I understand that my record, which I know is on the five pillars of life for Anthony DeGilio, who mm -hmm. at Tone digs T's and P's for his close contact situation he's in right now. He said his life revolves around faith. How what? you doing? What? Jesus Christ. Family. What? Football. What? His job. What? And then his betting record. I am putting my betting record into quite a predicament where I'm going to pick every single game, but I got to do something to get back on the right side of things, AJ. And now is the time to do it. Okay, you start off then. All right, we're going to have to zoom in because there's no way I can read that from here. Raiders plus six and a half. Steelers minus six and a half. Mike Tomlin was on the show yesterday. Pittsburgh Steelers minus six and a half. He enters in the stadium for the first time in a long time. That's going to be a tough place to play, A.J. Hawk. Hell yeah. Okay, Steelers win, but they don't cover. Wow. All right. Uh, Bengals, Bears. Bears are getting, or Bengals are getting two and a half points going into Chicago. Fair enough. Pete Schrag just got a promo against the Bears. I'm going with Joey Burrow in the Cincinnati Bengals. No. That means I'm betting on Zach Taylor, okay, which huh. I don't necessarily love. But you're also betting against Matt Nagy, who I think a lot of people, I, I'm a fan, but a lot of people potentially don't necessarily love. I like the Bengals, especially with Evan McPherson. Eddie Goldman's back, though, by the way. Who? Eddie Goldman. Eddie Goldman's back. David Montgomery might be disrespected because the NFL left him off the top five rushers, even though he is in the top five rushing yards. Eddie line will be back. I, I, listen. <laughs> I don't like any of my picks, okay? so <laughs> I'm not trying to change your mind. No, you kind of are, though. <laughs> no, 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 no. What are you, are you going with Bears or Bengals? Bengals win and cover. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, boy. Both both of us against the Bears. I don't necessarily love that. Texans, bronze. Texans are getting 13, maybe 13 and a half, uh, depending upon where and when we're getting this. That is a big deal. It's in Cleveland. I love the Cleveland Browns. I think I've been the biggest fan of the Cleveland Browns. I got Tyrod Taylor and the Texans getting 13 and a half. That's where I put the bet. If it's at 13, I like it's it as well. 13. That's a lot of points, A.J. Hawk. That is a lot of points, yeah. Like, I'm with you. Browns win, but I don't think they cover 13. Okay, just because everything we know about the NFL, there's a chance that the Texans make the Browns have to do a game-winning drive. Let's assume they will, or maybe not. Coach Dave, Tyrod Taylor and the boys down there flew around against Urban Meyer, almost made his ass go back to college after one week in the NFL. Rams, Colts, I'm not picking this one. I'm uh, not picking this one. Why is that? I'm team. I'm team. I'm team. Well, I, Listen, my heart's involved in it. You know That's what I mean? Right. That's right. Hard Knocks is coming to town. I mean, there's just no reason for me to do this. I am scared to death about this one, though. And if I was to lean towards one, I'm not even going to say it. No. I'll pick for you. I'll, do, you, you can just, I'll pick for you. I, I'm guessing I could channel what you were going to pick. Rams win, and they definitely cover. I wasn't necessarily going to do that. Jeez. I wasn't necessarily going to say that, but I'm happy you said that, not me. Bills, Dolphins, Dolphins at home, plus three and a half against a Bills team that did not look necessarily fantastic last week, and they're going down into Miami. It's going to be 7,000 degrees down there. Yeah. Three and a half points is a lot. I like the Dolphins plus three and a half personally. <laughs> I do not. I like the Bills to win and to cover three and a half. All right. Uh, Bounce back game. Bounce back for Josh Allen. Patriots and Jets. Jets getting five and a half at home against the New England Patriots. I'm hammering the Patriots in this one. Patriots, uh, Bill Belichick taking on a rookie quarterback. That record is 
damning, I believe, for rookie oh, yeah. quarterbacks against Bill Belichick. Also, Mac Jones, you know, it came out that he was winking at another player be, uh, on the other team last week, and that's because the Dolphins player told him what the play was going to be, and it was just a little gamesmanship. I like that he's that comfortable, that relaxed. Allegedly, he got back in the film room immediately after the game, got his ass beat, seemed to learn, earn his stripes and be loved in the locker room. I like the Patriots, even though I'm a big Jets guy. People think, uh, people know I'm a big Jets guy. Oh, I was yeah, on their man. side. They just signed Thomas Morstead to be their punter. I love that guy. Uh, but I feel like this is a Patriots game. Your idea, AJ? I am exactly with you. Patriots win for sure. Okay. And, and, and cover. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Niners, Eagles. Niners have to travel across the country to Nick Sirianni and the Eagles. Niners are favored by three. Sirianni, can I hear from you on how your team potentially feels against the San Francisco 49ers? Yeah, you heard what I said earlier this week. When we run out of that tunnel at the link, and it is full, it is packed, and Rocky is up on the jumbotron, and Adrian says, win. We're going to beat the piss out of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm all, and you know what? I, who, to shake things up and get things, you know, a little bit, uh, compete a little bit, I might go fucking smack Shanahan in the mouth. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Sirianni might smack Kyle Shanahan in the mouth. I like the Eagles at home getting points. Oh, I do not. I, I think they get beat here. Okay, I think I am on your side as well. Give me the Niners. <laughs> um, just because there might be a letdown game. Jason Kelsey dyed his hair, obviously, because it was a bet with Zach Ertz. He was betting that Zach Ertz was going to be traded out of You're going to be fucking gone, dude. They're going to trade your ass out of here. You know, no, no, I'm going to stick around. I'm going to get a deal done. I'm going to be happy. He has to dye his hair. Said he loved losing his bet. Ah, we don't know anything about the Eagles. We have no idea. Beat the hell out of the Falcons. What are the Falcons? Did the Falcons lay an egg? We have no idea. I like the Niners team. I'm going to go with Niners minus three, even though I like home. Plus three. <sighs> Niners can go in there and win. They got a game that travels, even though Raheem Mostert's out. Let's go to Saints Panthers. Saints on the road in Carolina. They're going to have to stare down that fucking augmented reality uh, uh, Panther. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, if they don't look at the screens in the stadium or at the Jumbotron, they will not know that there is a living, breathing, 30-yard panther jumping all around that is beautifully done. Beautifully done. Uh, go back to that. What is it? Three and a half? Yeah. I like the Saints minus three and a half against the Panthers. Christian McCaffrey scored a touchdown, though. Also probably a pretty good prop bet. That guy seems to be unbelievable, but that Saints defense is no joke. Hey, that Saints defense is no joke. Your thoughts, AJ? They're not the, the Saints defense is legit, but I like the Panthers at plus three and a half. Whoa. Okay, all right. Okay. There's a lot of home dogs, by the way, which is something I don't necessarily love. Three and a half seems to be a lot of points, especially in an NFC South rivalry, but Jameis Winston's all the way back. He can see again. Minus five and a half. The Broncos favored on the road in Jacksonville. Yet again, here we go. Broncos minus five and a half. Teddy Bridge at six now, I guess. So everybody's feeling the same way I am. I like the Broncos minus six in Jacksonville. Until Urban Meyer, Trevor Lawrence, and Schlegel and the boys down there can prove that they can win, I'm going to have to bet against them, especially when Von Miller's saying, hey, it hasn't felt this way since 18 been here with you, Teddy Bridgewater. I like the Broncos, AJ. I do, too. And a big reason is because of Von Miller and that defense. But yeah, I like him here. Sure. Chubbs a stud as well. Don't let him uh, fool you. Uh, Vikings at Cardinals. Cardinals favored by three and a half, I believe. I like the Cardinals. Now, I also like the Vikings mm -hmm. as a they team. They some guys questionable, too, don't they? Yeah. yeah, I like the Cardinals. And I made a deal with myself last week. We will bet on the Cardinals until further notice. I did this last year. They lost me a bunch of money. Now I think it's a completely different attitude down there. Cliff Kingsbury seems to be a little bit more fiery, as does Kyler. Just won the MVP. Okay, can't have a letdown after winning the MVP. No way. All right, so I like the Cardinals at home. We are betting on them until further notice. Next game, Falcons and Bucks. Falcons are getting 12 and a half in Tampa. Sheesh. Is that what that says? Yep. yep. Yeah. I like the Falcons plus 12 and a half Whoa. in Tampa against the Bucks. Bucks will win, probably by double digits. 12 and a half seems like a lot, though. That's a lot of points. That's a lot, isn't it, AJ? Yeah, I'm with you exactly on that one. In the Bucks, I mean, the Bucks have not. I mean, this could be me judging. They may win by 21, but it could very well be close, too. It could, you know, it could very well. Nice. I mean, they could win by 40, could <laughs> lose. You know what I mean? It's football. Any given Sunday. Yeah, right? yeah. So, hey, right. <laughs> That was an awesome moment for us. I'm happy we're here. I like the Falcons plus 12 and a half, even though the Bucs will win that game, I believe. Cowboys, Chargers, Chargers minus three and a half at home against the Cowboys. Ooh, AJ, what are your thoughts? Cowboys plus three and a half here for me. Oh, Joey Bosa canceled on us, didn't he? 
He yeah. <laughs> Cowboys plus three and a half. <laughs> and your heart's not in it and your emotions aren't in this one? Well, there's a reason. You know, things happen. The universe, the alchemist, okay, the universe is telling me some things there. I like the Cowboys plus three and a half. Let's go to the next one. Titans, Seahawks, Seahawks. I'm betting on the Seahawks until further notice. Even though the Titans getting six and a half points on the road after what they did last week, Vrabes ain't going to fuck with that. Vrabes is not. That team's going to look much better. I just, six and a half is a lot of points, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my. The 12s are going to be live. Uh-huh. It's going to be live. I said I'm betting on Russell Wilson until further notice after Monday Night Manning with Russell Wilson and seeing what he did for the Colts. Six and a half is a lot of points. AJ, your thoughts? Titans plus six and a half for me. All right. I said I'm betting on Russell. I'm betting on six and a half. Minus six and a half. Seattle Seahawks. Let's go next. Uh, Chiefs, Ravens. I like the Chiefs, even though it's in Baltimore. Baltimore, it's only three and a half spread, and that's strictly because Lamar Jackson can do everything by himself if he has to. He's proven that. He can shake ten people. I think this is a different animal, though. The Chiefs, hopefully this time, for the first time in a long time, when I'm betting on them, will actually put the goddamn throttle, Don. They'll take out the hammer. They'll go hammer, Don. They'll take out a shillelagh from an Irish man's hand, and they'll go shillelagh, Don. They will shellac the Ravens, I think, and it's not because the Ravens are bad. I like the Ravens a lot. They just got a lot of injuries in some key spots, and I think Chiefs will actually take advantage of that this weekend. Your thoughts, AJ? Yeah, Chiefs, uh, Chiefs what, minus 3.5, 3. 3. like I said before. No yeah, 3.5. Yeah, 3.5. And I'll tell you what, if the Chiefs can score 3.6 points, that's all they need. That's true. Right. That's all they need. If they can go three and uh, three-fifths, you know what I mean, they they can score that whole thing, and let's go ahead and continue to wrap this one up. Uh, and then the Lions and the Packers on Monday Night Football. Packers win by 50. Okay. <laughs> all right, that was fun. Like your, that. Your thoughts, AJ? I'm with you. I yeah, I agree. So yeah, we 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 would do different on some games. So it'll be fun to see how the results uh, play out. Okay, so if all those hit the parlay that Zito just put together, ten dollars to win seventy eight thousand. Here we go. All right, let's go. All right, so this is how you turn around yeah. a gambling record. <laughs> That's right. Okay, this is how. You might have taken it on the shins week one in the beginning of week two from your friends at FanDuel. And FanDuel might be feeling good about themselves. Chest up. I think you got to make a call, Zito. Chest up. Chest high. They might be feeling good waltzing around little FanDuel Sportsbook headquarters. Ha, ha, ha. We took all that sons of bitches money in this entire community. Well, guess what? When I hit this 10 for 78 grand on you, I would like everybody to be put on notice over there that that's going to be the rest of the season, FanDuel. I'm doing that for the rest of the games. That happened in this NFL regular season and playoffs. This is the start of something beautiful, AJ Hawk, you and me. Has anyone ever hit this like full slate parlay like that? Last week someone hit all 16, yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Guess what? This week they did too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Put a hundred put a can you put a hundred bucks on that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You can put a thousand on it, AJ. You should. Hey, if you want million. that, could you just get him to can you cash out right away? Okay, give me that check right now. They just send you a check? Well, I mean, there's some other checks that are potentially being negotiated from them as well. So, but you know, if you walk into a cash game and you win all the money, you I, and you just walk out of there, there is a chance that they're pissed off at you. But guess what? If it's at the casino, the casino has more money. Somebody will bring you guys more chips. I'm getting out of here. You know what I mean? Right. That is uh, sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to take a little victory lap, especially if you win.